Hello Stampin' Friends and welcome. This is Dee Osborne and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we will be making this card that uh, you could use for Valentine's Day or for pretty much any occasion where you'd like to send a little love to someone. We will be using the Strong of Heart stamp set and it is going away at the end of this month just in a couple of days. Um, so if this is something you've been wanting, um, you don't have very much time left to get it. Um, I believe it was originally created um, for heart health, but I think it can be used, could also be used um, to send for someone who is uh, battling breast cancer or pretty much any cancer or anyone who is, um, you know, struggling with anything. It has this great sentiment through struggle comes strength here for you. You amaze me and stronger than you know, but today we'll be using it also this, this stamp that has a lot of versatility. We'll, we'll be using it to make uh, a card, I think for Valentine's day, but like I said, you could send it for any occasion where you want to send a little love. Um, so if you, as you go along, like this video, uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, click that little bell and leave me a comment. And let me know that you have subscribed or that you liked this, this card or this video, and I will be sure to comment back to you. Um, everything that you need to make this card will be listed in the description below. And um, let's get started with it. All right, so um, I started with um, a piece of black cardstock that I cut to eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Fold that in half, and we're going to orient our card this way. And then I took a piece of flirty flamingo cardstock cut at five and a quarter by four, and we are going to glue that down to our black cardstock. So let's do that. So we're gluing this down to our black base. I love black and pink together. I just think that it pops black and pink together. Absolutely pop. Pink is my favorite color and um, pairing it with black really, 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 really does make it pop. All right. So now you're also going to need a piece of uh, five and a quarter by four cardstock that you're going to glue to the inside. So let's do that. That's where you write your sentiment. And you tell the person how much you appreciate them and love them or that you're thinking of them and sending them love, whatever you want to say on the inside. All right. So we have that done fast and easy, right? Then you're going to need two pieces of uh, white cardstock, one cut at five by three and three quarters. And then the other one is just a scrap. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to play a little bit here. I'm going to get some flirty flamingo, my flirty flamingo um, ink pad. I'll move this out of the way and I'm going to get this stamp from the set because I want to make a little bit of a background with that. And so we're going to look at the different strengths of ink as we stamp. So if I ink it up and I stamp it straight on, that would be one. I'm going to write this down. This one is, pull this down a little more. This one is one. If it's stamped off, no, this is full strength. So this one would be zero. Okay. Then this one is stamped off once. This is stamped off twice. Stamped off three times, mm. a fourth time. Oh, it's getting light, light, light. I like that one, I think. And then the fifth time. Ooh, maybe five. 
because for our background we want it to just barely be visible <clears throat> maybe even six um, because it will show up a little darker on our cardstock than it does on this paper so on this card i um this was this one so you see it's a lot darker and this was this one so it's a lot darker um it almost looks like this should be this one so it seems like it's you know one on this paper it shows up one brighter on your regular card stock so i'm thinking i'm gonna go ahead and go all the way down to six all right so we're going to one two three four nine six and then we're going to stamp the background see look how much brighter that is okay we're gonna go one two six and we're going to stamp it right here and we're liking that and then one two three four five six and i'm going to stamp one i think right here and then one two three four five six and stamp that last one just on the edge there See how much brighter it is? Amazing, right? All right. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get my black ink, my Memento Black, and I'm going to ink up this stamp. Okay, and I'm going to do this one twice. And here's a technique that I like. I like to rub it on first and then pat, 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 pat. Okay, and we're going to stamp that kind of up in, uh, on this one, I don't think I left myself really enough room for my love. So I'm going to move it up a little bit on this one. Okay, give that a second to soak into that. Very nice. I like it. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp a second one on my scrap because I'm going to cut out the little uh, flowers and pop them up just a touch. Okay, so we're just going to stamp that on there. Okay, and then we're going to move back to our flirty flamingo. And on this one, I did the third one. I did zero, one, two yeah so on here so i'm gonna go and we can practice on this one because it's not gonna matter we're gonna cut color on that one zero one two and if i were to uh stamp that see i think oh i think maybe just one that's i want it to be a little brighter than that so we're gonna go zero one and then we're gonna stamp this and you cut I kind of you kind of have to you know look and see where that goes I want that to soak in real good I want it to be a little brighter oh yeah there we go I like that um I think I'm gonna put just a little bit right there I like that okay all right now what we're going to do is we're going to set this aside and we're going to pull in this one and we're going to take a blender pen that is dark flirty flamingo dark flirty flamingo and we are going to color um, those flowers And we're just real quick gonna color those and see how it doesn't matter that we stamped because we're coloring over it with the same color, so it, that's all good. And then we're going to fussy cut those out because I'm going to pop them up 
um, on top to give it a little bit of a dimensional look. Okay. So then you take your snips and you're going to, this is my, my uh, scrap piece. This is the one I'm going to put on my card. So I'm just going to fussy cut out these flowers and they don't take very long to do at all. They're very simple to cut. So I'm going to fussy cut these out. I, you can leave a little bit of white. Um, when we use our dies, we leave a little, you know, it leaves a little bit of white and it looks so good, right? Now you can do that when you fussy cut them out or you don't have to. When you fussy cut, um, it sometimes looks a little ragged when you do that, unless you're just a super spectacular cutter, which I'm not necessarily. So I'm going to save those off to the side. Okay. So we're going to cut these out and I'm going to go cut these out and I will be right back. Okay. So I've got that cut out. I'll just pick up my mess here and um, we'll move on. So I've got my card. I have my little pieces cut out and I've saved them right here. So I'm going to glue this down. So let's do that. Glue this piece down. We're almost done with this card. It's a pretty quick and easy card. So I'm going to glue that down right there. I'm going to take some glue dots and I'm going to put these pieces on top. So let's just flip those over. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we're just going to put glue those on top. Oops. Did that glue dot go on there? No, it didn't. It's still stuck to my scissors. There we go. Okay. Glue that on there. And the glue dot pops it up just a touch. You could use a dimensional to pop it up even more if you like that. Or you could just use the glue dot, whichever look you prefer. Okay. And then we'll take another little glue dot. We'll put it on this one. Now this one, the glue dots, these two, the glue dots a little bit bigger um, than the flower. So I fold the glue dot behind it. And then it actually pops it up even more, which I kind of like. And then we'll get another glue dot. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll put it on there and we'll fold it just a little bit. So you, you don't want to see the glue dot um, sticking out from behind the flower. All right. There we go. We can kind of pop those edges up a little bit to so give it just a little bit of dimension. Okay, there we go. Now, the, the best part, I think, the most fun part, um, is we are going to use these um, adhesive sheets. They come in a pack like this, and when you pull them out, they look like this. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you peel it back and this side is the sticky side. This side is the sticky side. This side's not sticky. The underneath is sticky. So you peel that off. First thing I did was I cut the size that I wanted because I'm going to cut out this love. And so I measured it and I knew that it was going to fit that size. So you cut out a piece that fits your die and then you peel it off. Right, and then you stick it to um, whatever color cardstock you're using. We're going to use the black cardstock. Okay, so I stuck it on there. Now, when I run it through the big shot, I'm going to put my die on the cardstock side, making sure that um, it's going to cut the adhesive sheet out as well. So I've got that. And if you want to be sure, you can always do this. 
you want to make sure that you're not messing up and cutting where there's you know no adhesive you, after you put it on you just cut your little piece of cardstock down so you know exactly where that adhesive is and then there's no guess right so i have that cut down and i know that anywhere i put this die on here is going to work so i'm going to go cut that out and i will be right back okay to make sure that it cut all the way through i ran it through three or four times so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to poke out all these things that I don't need. Okay. Let's get rid of all of that. I don't need, don't want any of those letters to be filled in. Okay. Then I'm going to pull the die off. I can throw that piece away. Or I could keep it and use it for something else, right? Wouldn't that be cute? Mm, I might just keep that. Um, then to release it you have these holes and you just if you just poke the the top holes it'll release a little bit and you can pull it out and the l is separate oh that one that i don't want that in there i missed that one i don't want that oh well you know what when i pull this off that'll come right out so i the l uh is separate from the from the rest of the word, as you know, when you write in cursive, let me pick your pen up after your capital letter. Um, so I need to pull the, oh, that's not releasing. There we go. So then I pull this off. Now, you, uh, on, there, look at that. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. I'm going to put my L first, and all you do is you just, you know use your thumb and pull or whatever finger doesn't matter pull the backing off and this part is sticky so there's no glue when i use glue on little things like this and it moves around then it leaves a glue residue and i don't i don't like the way that looks so i'm going to put my l down first and it's okay that i'm putting it over the leaf i'm going to come back and color that leaf anyway Let's make sure I have enough room. Yes. Okay. Now I have my L. Now I'll pull off the rest of the word. And you do the same thing. You just pick at it like that until the backing comes off. And if that little piece didn't come out, you can just go like that and it'll pull off on your finger. Okay. Now, you have to decide where you want the rest of your word. Do you want it like that? I want it up like this. Okay, so L O V E, love. Oh, love, love, love it. All right, now I'm going to take the a dark mint macaron stamp and blend and i'm going to color in the leaves and i'm going to color them in a couple of times and i could have colored them in before it doesn't really matter um and just go lightly over it i kind of boo-booed right there but you know what we have this color lifter that i can take that off with there we go all right um Maybe I should be using the other tip because I keep boo-booing. This tip is, has a much finer point. You don't have to push hard when you use this side. It's very delicate. And you don't need to push very hard at all. It, it grabs the paper, grabs that ink from it really nicely. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to darken a couple of spots. Maybe give it a little shading shadowing whatever you want to call it okay there isn't that pretty and if you don't think it's dark enough you can go back in and give it a little more I'm loving it and there you have it a very simple very easy card that you could give to a friend or a loved one 
or someone who's struggling um, for some encouragement. Um, lots of different occasions. So again, everything that you need to make this card will be listed below with the dimensions. Uh, if you want to look at the current products or if there's something that you need, you can always go to my website at www.deebeststamping.stampinup.net for a complete look at all the currently available products. Please remember that all orders of $40 or more will receive a bonus gift from me. So if you liked this, click like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I will be sure to comment back to you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time.